so let's jump into the BR1HD. BR1HD, uh, remember to you, is the small, uh, is the smaller on the on the category of the streaming ones. Okay, so uh, let's look uh, with this one. We are trying to look for the content uh, creators. This means uh, YouTubers. I mean, very popular word nowadays. But it's also uh, people doing uh, podcast, people doing radio programs that they want to start to do video on the radio shows as well. Okay, so it's a very, um, let's say, it's not aimed to a very professional uh, engineers. It's more to amateurs or um, prosumer, is it called actually the, the the cool word for it? So let's talk about uh, the a little bit about the background, the back panel of it. We have three HDMI inputs with the scalers. Okay, we detected that it's very important uh, to these people to have the scalers because uh, probably they started with a, a photograph camera, kind of a DSLR camera. That's one resolution and one aspect ratio and one other. Maybe they jump and they bought a GoPro. Okay, maybe it's a GoPro very old that has different resolutions every again. And then all of them or most of them, what they want to do is to connect the video game, PlayStation, Xbox. Okay. So we say, okay, we need to install the scalers in order to them to connect any video device they have at home, we'll be able to play with them. Okay? Input number three has a very particular thing that we give to it a very special treatment because we gave a through output. Okay? So the gamers that they use PlayStation or Xbox or uh, Nintendo Switch or whatever, they want to connect uh, it here, they don't need to sacrifice the output to see it on the screen. So they can go out to another screen and they can play to the game on full resolution. Okay. Then on the outputs of the unit, both USB or, or the main ones, they can do the picture in picture to put their faces on the corner. They can do a lot of things. Okay. But uh, the idea is that they don't need to sacrifice uh, the game to put themselves on the on the screen. Okay. Good. Um, we have a USB connector here. We will talk about it now. We have a monitor and a, and a main output, and we have a USB, which is uh, we talked about that before. We will see that a little bit later. So these guys that they are creating the content, if they are doing a radio show and then doing an interview, or if they are playing to the PlayStation, or if they are maybe playing instruments, they don't have the hands empty to do the switching. So for that, we introduce three different ways to do auto switch okay one of them is audio follows video so imagine uh, we did an example before uh, Rodrigo and I we did an interview uh, later here so we were two persons speaking I have one camera he has another camera okay so I have one microphone he has another microphone when I speak when my microphone my channel on the microphone has signal my camera is on the screen okay when Rodrigo was talking, his camera was on the output, automatic. If the two of us start to argue and we talk at the same time, input number three, that maybe is a general shot, both of us, goes to the screen. Okay? So normally on our products we have one thing which was videos follows audio, which is you hear what you have on the screen. This is the opposite to that. You see what the guy or the input is talking, let's say. Okay? That's one option. Another option, uh, beat sync. You have music playing or you are uh, um, a musician and you are uh, doing YouTube videos of your music and so on. It detects the beat and it just switches the between sources. One, two, three, one, two, three, or you can skip one. You can do one, two, one, two, okay? Automatically to the beat, okay? And then a third option is that you can set different times. So input number one is going to be on the screen five seconds. Input number two is going to be 10 seconds, and then input number three is going to be eight seconds, and then one again. Okay? So automatically, it will be switching, and the guys can concentrate to whatever they are doing. If this is an interview, an interview. If it's playing games, playing games. Okay? Uh, good. We can work switching between the inputs. That will be here. This is the auto switch button. Or we can work more based on the scenes. Okay? The unit has one picture in picture and also ha well has one keyer, okay? And we can just set five different situations. So we can do five different scenes, okay? And the guy just can switch between the scenes. 
uh, these things coming down here are just, uh, for example, I think it's input two. If I recall the scene number one now, it's one background, one picture in picture here. Okay. If I select a split uh, a scene C, it's just split it in two. Okay. So maybe there is two guys uh, playing; they will uh, compete each other. Okay. But anyway, that's just the that's just the that's just. So if I get into the menu, a scene, uh, I am on a scene, scene, okay? So I am on a scene, I can select what I want it to be. If I want it to be a split situation or a picture-in-picture -picture situation, uh, if I want it, to who's going to be in background, who's going to be on the position, uh, if I want to move, okay? If I want to, again, like always on our on our picture-in-pictures, if I want to do zoom inside the picture-in-picture, -picture, okay? So every scene, we have five and well right now maybe we're doing ah, we're doing this k plus the picture in picture okay that's why we you see it like that okay so again uh you have five different situations you can edit one by one okay this is just uh, an orientation for the default setting okay good yeah this is the audio part you have two uh microphone inputs i said that before you have a line input coming from an rca if you're doing a radio probably you already have a bigger radio uh, console and you need to connect that to do your streaming you have a dedicated streaming knob to to make uh, the volume different to the volume you're doing so if you don't want to create feedback with the speakers and so on uh, you have different knobs for that also um, for the first time we have audio effects uh, like for example to change the voice so if somebody is maybe reading books doing uh, these uh, audio books okay and wants to do uh, characters so he can just make different uh, changes on the voice so just one guy can pretend to be more than one okay good uh, and if I go back also we have an on air button okay which is very important for example if I was doing I was getting ready to make the oh well this is on the, on the preview okay I'm getting ready I see on the my preview monitor I see the cameras I see everything I check everything I check microphone is okay now we can go to our Facebook page and go live. So we can have the people there ready, watching just black, okay? And then when you want to go live, you press on air, and it goes on air, okay? Good. Then, with the USB, it will... Sorry. Okay, let me go back to one. Okay. Well. Mm. This is the software, uh, I plug, ah, it's off, okay? So I'm just, I'm connecting the VR1 HD to USB to my computer. I'm using the VR Capture, which is the software I mentioned to you before. And if I want to create a clip, I was gonna just gonna place record here and that will create a clip on my computer, okay? If I connect to Facebook uh, Live, it will appear on the right, uh, on the Facebook, when you go to a Live, it will appear as a, uh, video device to select to be do the stream and the same goes for the audio okay good I'm allergic as you can see <laughs> okay that was one of the options I can do the VR capture or also I can go to YouTube or I can go to Wirecast or, wi or Adobe Flash Media Encoder this is the same thing we saw for the br 58 z okay the USB part is the same one good question you can have uh, templates we well yes, the same thing yeah, are you live. ah yes 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 you, you can actually what we are seeing now on the screen is the uh, the preview output that's why I see the menu okay the if I change this to the main output it will be affected by okay by the owner so the USB output and the main output, they are affected by the owner. So if I want to do check-ins and everything with that, with, uh, that off on the preview or on the monitor output, I can do all the settings and everything uh, very confident. Uh, that's something we are working on. Uh, I, I, I didn't understand the question at the beginning. The question is if I, we can, instead of going to black, go in maybe to a logo or uh, in five minutes or in something like that. That's something we are working on, okay? 
that probably will be able to use it uh, the USB um, I didn't talk about the USB connector on the back sorry I said I was gonna talk about it and I miss it okay we go back to here okay this USB memory is able to load uh, background music so if you want to play uh, music from the unit you can play wave what files from the USB you can play for example claps or laughs okay and also the idea is that you can get a USB uh, an image there okay yeah. more questions no okay very good we are very good on time 